Though we say things and we make claims and we talk and we talk and we talk and we don't realize that we are sowing seeds and often we are sowing the seeds of our own destruction. Because your words, they are like seeds, brothers and sisters. They are like seeds. From these words, something will grow. Imagine that. Every word that comes out of your mouth, it is like a seed. A seed you're putting in the ground. You can plant good seeds, or you can plant bad seeds. You can plant crops that will feed trees, that will grow and provide shade and shelter. These are like the good words. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He gives the example of the goodly word. The goodly word. He gives this example in the Quran of the goodly word. It is like the corn. It is just one seed. It is amazing. It is the corn seed is just one seed. But if you sow it like a goodly word and it grows and it reaches harvest time, what does it bring forth? A hundred, a thousand or more seeds. Things that people can utilize to eat and to live. But the evil word, brothers and sisters, is a cause for destruction. It is like sowing thorns and nettles. We should be very, very careful about what we say. Very careful. Because words are dangerous. And brothers and sisters, Allah tests us with our words. Allah tests us with our words and our words have consequences. And we find that many brothers and sisters, they talk a lot and they criticize a lot and they claim a lot. But they are not equal to their claims. And they often, while they criticize, have faults themselves that are more severe. And often you find that when Allah tests someone, and that is a fact. If you criticize a sister, if you criticize a sister because she has a problem with polygamy, or as you may claim, she is not fulfilling her responsibilities to her husband or to her parents. Or she is such and such person and this and that person. Criticizing that sister maybe behind her back. And the same with the brothers. You make an accusation, a criticism. Believe me, Allah will test you with your words. Allah will test you. The very same thing that you criticize them for, Allah will test you. Allah will test you to see if you are true to what you say. This is the fact. And sometimes, alhamdulillah, you'll prove worthy. The things you talked about, you were sincere about it. And you were true to it. So alhamdulillah, you'll pass the test. But how many people have I seen fall by the wayside? How many tongues waggling and criticizing and so busy looking at the faults of their brothers and sisters, but they didn't look at themselves. They were so busy criticizing, they didn't even look at themselves to see what is in their own hearts, to see their own deficiencies, their own inadequacies. They didn't even know their own strengths and weaknesses. So quick to blame, so slow to take blame. And then when Allah tried them with their words, they proved wanting. And they fell into the same fitna that they used to criticize other people for. How many times have I seen that? How many times an evil word against your brother reaps consequences for years? And I will tell you, not to, to, not, I'm telling you something from my own life. Not to expose to you my sins and inadequacies, 
But to warn you of something I know personally, of a word can have a devastating effect. A devastating effect. Alhamdulillah, when I first became Muslim, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blessed it to make it very easy for me to pray in the night time, to stand for tahajjud. And one day, I was invited to go on a walk, a sponsored walk. We walked from Bradford to London, it's 250 miles. In fact, the same distance from Mecca to Medina. This walk was taking us two weeks and on the way, every night we stopped in a mosque and we were raising awareness about a charity organization. And this, by the way, brothers and sisters, I want to warn you about. It was an action, and inshallah, I hope a good action pleasing to Allah. But sometimes, and this is very dangerous, you can become proud of your actions. You can feel proud of yourself. You think you are so good. You think you are so great. Look what I am doing. Look how much I am doing. And look how little you are doing. And so one night we stayed in the mosque. And in the mosque, there were some brothers who were on Tablighi. They were on Tablighi from Tablighi Jama'ah. And I, anyway, had some issues with them from before. However, we had to get up early in the morning after Fajr to start our work. And the brothers from Tablighi, what did they do? Instead of getting up and getting ready and doing whatever, they were sleeping. And I said a word. I said a word, an unjust word about them. I said, all these people do is they sleep. Wallahi, what an unjust word to say about them. I could have said a just word. I could have made a just criticism, but this was not a just criticism. You know, brothers and sisters, from that time, for years and years and years, I found it almost impossible to get up for tahajjud. I really believe from that day, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put a fitna on me because of the evil of uh, an unjust word that I said. This is the harvest of the tongue. A foolish word, an unjust word spoken about your Muslim brother and sister. This is the harvest of the tongues. And if this is the harvest of the tongues in this life, how will it be on the day when we stand in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? How will it be on the day of accounting? How will it be on the day of reckoning? When we will have to pay for every single thing that we have done, every abuse that we have suffered or caused to suffer our Muslim brothers and sisters, we will have to pay them. We will have to pay them. And we won't be paying them with money because we won't have any money. It'll be too late to apologize. It'll be too late to make amends. No. We will have to pay with our deeds. Our good deeds will be taken away and given to those people that we abused. Given to those people that we backbit. Given to those people that we slandered. Given to those people against whom we did injustice. And if we don't have any good deeds left, we will have to take their sins. And then, it's only after that, by the way, the deeds will be weighed. First is the accounting. Words, brothers and sisters, are dangerous. Be careful what you say. Be careful what you say. Be careful what you say. Talk is cheap. If you are going to speak, if you have to speak, let good come out of your mouth. Let good come out of your mouth. If you haven't got something good to say, be quiet. What Allah wants from us are actions. What Allah wants from us is action. And action here means Actions of worship. Actions of worship. This is what Allah wants from us. Ibadah, 